This smartwatch demo is running on an i.mx RT595 EVK and enables a 1.2 inch circular display with 390 by 390 resolution. i.mx RT595 is an ARM Cortex M33 microcontroller with 5 megabytes of internal SRAM, 2D GPU and MIPI DSi for displays, Fusion F1 DSP for audio processing, and a math coprocessor. The graphical interface was developed with NXP's GUI Guider tool and uses the open source LVGL graphics library, which are both free to use. GUI Guider is simple to use and allows you to drag and drop graphical assets, add pre-designed widgets, establish callbacks for touchscreen feedback, and much more. In this demo, we have a shell application communicating over UART running alongside the graphical interface. This allows you to modify all the parameters being displayed by the watch. You can get the list of available commands to change these parameters using the help command. First things first, let's modify the time on the watch using the time command. Now let's change the battery indicator status, and then the weather, which provides notifications on the shell interface every time you interact with the screen, such as the swipe action used to change from the digital to analog watch face. Let's change the time again on the screen. Now let's change the battery level indicator. Now let's look at the weather screen. The first thing we want to modify here is the temperature. The same command modifies current, maximum, and minimum values. If you type a command incorrectly, you'll be informed by the shell and you can try again. The next screen is the sport watch face. You can independently adjust each of these indicators. Let's do distance. And now calories. In the music player, you can navigate through the songs using the command line interface, or directly using the touch buttons on the screen. And again, you'll get notifications when you press the screen button. Like everything else on the watch, you can modify the BPM count on the CLI, but you can also change animations or graphs in real time using some of the widgets that GUI Guider provides. Go to nxp.com slash GUI guider to get more information about GUI Guider and LVGL. There are additional materials and examples you can use to build attractive graphical interfaces.